Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, I will show you how to use this radiator coolant tester on a few different coolants and read the freezing points. I've seen some coolants on the market that just water and color, so this will be very helpful to test them before using them. This inexpensive antifreeze and coolant tester can tell you the freezing point. You just have to squeeze the head to suction some coolant to this line and hold it horizontally till this arrow will be aligned with this one, and then the lower line will tell you the freezing point. Keep in mind this tool working with gravity, so if you see any bubble on the arrow, just give it a few taps to reduce the bubbles and then it will tell you the correct reading. The freezing point that it will give you, it won't be 100% accurate but something close to that point. So the first test will be tap water. We can see it's at freezing point and not any minus number. This will freeze at 0 degrees Celsius, so we're not gonna use something like this on our car. Alright, next I'm gonna pour the water and suction some green antifreeze. By the way, all these antifreeze are pre-mixed, so we don't have to mix it with water. It's a good idea to bend the tube and hold it with your hand and make sure that you are holding it vertically. And align the tap arrow with the vertical line. Then we can read the freezing point. So in this case, the freezing point is minus 29 Celsius and minus 20 Fahrenheit. Alright, I'm gonna do the test on other coolant as well, just to show you how easy it is to use this. Looks like all the coolants I have have same freezing point. And here is the last coolant which is called OAT, Organic S Technology, and it's purple. You can use this coolant for 10 years in your car, or you can drive the car for 150,000 miles plus. It's freezing more than minus 29, I would say minus 32. Now I'm gonna do the same test on my car's radiator coolant, but make sure the engine is cold to touch before opening the radiator cap. I'm gonna do the test straight from the radiator so we can know the freezing point what is in the system. Just like I showed you before, you're gonna have to hold the device vertically so this arrow will be aligned with this line and we're gonna read the freezing point. In this case it's minus 43 celsius. After the test you can put the coolant back and put the cap back on. If the tester reads zero which means you have tap water in the system or you have something like this oily substance this is the result of mixing two different organic coolants here is the video how i flushed and cleaned the entire system without removing the radiator i will make sure to put the video link in the video description box below and youtube card if you wanna check it out i believe this is one of the inexpensive must tools to have for checking your radiator coolant or any coolant before putting in your car system hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new if it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.